Morning again, it's Ona. We're just gonna do a little Mars and Leo kind of thing. You know, I realize um, Chicago's opening up to phase five today, so it's gonna be kind of nutty. Like I realized this stuff after I did the morning potty break prediction. So maybe a little calming plant energy will help. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so this is the side of my, or the front of my house. Uh, the side of the steps. This is kind of my compost pot. I put stuff in and then flowers or plants that get freezer burned at the greenhouse. I throw those in there and it seems to go like nuts every year. That's a uh, honeysuckle in there that I planted on purpose. This is a poinsettia that I got for Christmas that I, I set on top of the bush and it just slid right in. I'm like, all right. This is going to be some of Giblet's birthday present. It's going to be seven. A little portulaca basket in front of their tree there. The pots out in front are dianthus, some sweet potato vines, these two, and the ornamental oregano, which I love. Okay, this is my thriller of the year. This fun, loving cypress that is looks like a little like spaceships. I just love that thing. And some cascading things to make it look romantic. Right? Dianthus I had last year has grown like a big old mustache. It's going to be some kind of mustachey thing for Halloween. I have poppies this year. Champagne bubbles. Look at that. Sorry about the noise pollution, guys. There's just no way around this one. No way around it out front. I know. Uh, petunias, these are really neat. They grow really fast. They're gorgeous flower with the green edge on them, and they just love this environment. When these poppies really uh, explode, we'll have some good, good pictures. And just some pots uh, right in front of the door here. Cone flower and some more cascading. I have a huge thing with English ivy this year. The other side here. My pansies and the alopecia from inside the house, which I have to split again. Oh, it looks like we have tired dog at the set. Oh, you know what? He misses his yaya. Do you miss yaya, Chiplet? <laughs> Cannoli's upstairs, right? Okay. Oh, there she is. Hi, little Noli Nolans. You guys know my space a little bit, right? The balcony is off my kitchen, the downstairs balcony, not where the birds did their business. This one's downstairs. Our new moon candle, cedar, pine, sending the energy out there, okay? Jasmine tree. I'm gonna have to cut it back once it stops blooming. It hasn't bloomed yet because I did have to cut some branches. I may have uh, screwed up the bloom for this year. Little succulent basket so that I can meditate here when I need to. My flower boxes I have on the balcony. Oh, looks like I'm growing a puppy. And then I have them um, on the railing also so I can make kind of a curtain. I use mandelvias this year. And they can grow upright, they can um, be trained to cascade, so I'm trying to do that so that they cascade down and they have a little more privacy than, than I have now. Salvia is a deep purple. It's going to be gorgeous when it uh, blooms, when the flowers open up. You know I got the curly parsley. You know I got the curly parsley for the butterflies. Again, the English ivy and some really gorgeous coleus. Stuff that's simple to grow and will seamlessly go into a fall garden. My, my pot of, yeah, I know I got a problem. I know I got a problem. Basil. This is Aristotle basil. There's a Thai basil in here. There's sweet mammoth in here. Regular Genovese and yeah. This is a little cannabis plant. I found a seed in some of my flower. It's mojo. I'm like, whatever. Let's see what happens with that. That should be fun, huh? Okay. We might just end the video on that one there. 
and more coleus, some lavender, and more of the splits from my inside plants of the alocasia. The upstairs balcony where the birds did their thing is still kind of a mess. I'm still moving plants out and around there in my cool chair. And uh, I'll show you guys that when it's ready. So, hey, have a happy Friday, okay? Have a happy Friday.